So here we go. Sigval's first proper test against a hell of a lot of Kislev folk. So my first goal is to get rid of their artillery. I'm going to use my warhounds and horses to try and separate them, make them shoot at those, and then they'll be separated from the main army, and I can nip in and take them out. I'll keep one unit back, actually, just in case I need to get those archers. These two units should survive just fine, but you never know. They've got reinforcements coming as well. A couple of mortars there. So we're heftily outnumbered in this one, but we do have, of course, the superior troops. Chaos Warriors should be able to go through spearmen and swordsmen quite easily. Chosen will go through everyone quite easily. Aspiring champions. We should be just fine. Playing dodge the mortars with my warhounds. Try a little zigzag run. Ooh. You can actually see them coming quite well, so I can kind of just dodge them. <laughs> no units seem to be coming back to protect them, thankfully. Not yet, anyway. Might want to leave a bit more of a gap. I'm not going to go in just yet. Just so I have enough time to take them out before any reinforcements come back to try and save the artillery. These poison warhounds, though, should make pretty short work. Dodge the mortars, dodge the mortars. Here we go now. Let's get them now. Sick them. Sick them, boys. Poison them. Eat them. Just get them running away, basically. Get my marauders coming in, throw a few things from the back. Got, oh, Jesus, that's some short range on those mortars. Go round, go round, get the other one. Why have you stopped? Oh, okay. Thought they'd stopped right in front of them for some reason. Charge those, run them down. Took a mortar hit there somehow. Oh, they're coming back. Gonna have to be quick. We're routing one of them. Of course, there is the risk that they'll come back, but we can try and chase them off. If we can get rid of enough of them. My marauders, of course, not as effective in melee as the warhounds are going to be. Let's get them out of there. Don't want them fighting spearmen. So this is like a really valuable strategy, I think, for playing offline against the AI. It's really almost... I almost feel like I'm cheating because it's so easy to lure their artillery out and just take care of it. Because they won't protect it properly. And then, yeah, it's kind of easy, but... Oh, well. Got to make do with what you can when you're this outnumbered, I suppose. Got these warhounds ready here. They are going to get spotted there, so we'll pull them away. Hopefully they can get after some skirmishers. Got rid of most of these boys. They're pretty much done. Let's get rid of that one. Don't think that other one will be coming back. I'm not sure if the reinforcing army has artillery. Seemingly not, which is good. We seemingly have their artillery dealt with. So that's a victory because that artillery would do a lot of damage to my, if it started firing at my Chaos Warriors or my Chosen. That would be a pretty big deal for me because they are going to be my main killing force here. Got some Chaos Spawn as well, they should slap people about pretty well. Got these ones here, going to try and get them into the skirmishes in a minute. We'll move them up now to try and get a little look-see on them. These ones have been nicely dealt with. Some Pistoliers coming in over here though. Let's try and get onto them. We might be able to win a missile engagement with them, with my horsemen, but... I'm not sure. It's going to be pretty even. The Warhounds scare them off a little bit. We're killing some of them. They're probably killing some of us. Yep, yeah, it's about even at the moment. A reinforcing army's coming as well. But it doesn't look like the main army's going to wait for them. They're coming straight for us. I think I'm going to send my Marauders in first. They'll be kind of the front line, the first front line. I'll let them weaken that army and then once they run away, which they inevitably will, the Chaos Marauders, then I'll send in the Chosen Chaos Warriors and they should be able to mop up whoever's left. Because typically I try not to use my best troops unless I absolutely have to. If I can keep them in reserve and just never use them for the entire battle, great. The less troops I have to lose to win the battle, great. And that's something that's quite important in campaigns is to try and keep your armies in tip-top shape as much as possible. So if you can win a battle with just half your army, just use half your army. Online, of course, you don't really have the consequence after the battle, so you can just kind of throw everything in and try to win it. But offline, I think being reserved is always a good way to go. Especially when we're playing the Chaos and we've only got one army, basically. My Warhounds have been having a chew on some archers. Done a little bit of damage to them, but some spearmen are there now. Pulled my Horsemen and Warhounds back. Didn't want them fighting the entire reinforcement army. Try and get after those pistolers in a minute, though. Oh, they've run into spears. We don't want that. Get out of there. Chaos Spawn. Going to be very useful. Got to try and get the Chaos Spawn into some Swordsmen, though. Don't want them fighting spearmen, of course. Anti-large and all that. We'll start to try and flank round on them. Who can I bring out? Let's bring Sigvold in. 
chuck him into the fray, he can get after their general. Got these going out wide. Got these boys doing nothing. Okay, they're all over the place, the enemy. Just going to have to try and deal with them as much as possible. Warhounds. Oh, look at that. Two lots of skirmishers for you to chew on there. Go, Warhounds. Go, Warhounds. Go. Chaos spawn. Get into the swords. Okay. I think we're okay. Going to send in some of my better units. Just to help out. Because there is a lot of numbers coming our way. Oh, we've been run into by... Get after these ones. So many archers for us to eat. Really need my other unit of Warhounds over here, really. Good. Okay, everything's going well. I'm okay with this so far. Now we just got to wade through these troops, cut them down. And it looks like they're kind of coming in a bit of a weird formation. They're all coming like, look, just two or three units at a time. One after the other rather than all together. So that's going to make it a little bit easier for us. Flank round on these boys. Howard's not got a lot to do as there's not a lot of large. Warhounds are going to town on these missile units. Tasty, tasty. Look at them, they're so scattered. What are they doing? So random. Lots of spearmen here. They're going to be losing decisively. Chaos spawn. 34 kills for them already. With basically no damage taken. Oh, we're messing these skirmishers up a treat. Got some flanking here with these halberds. We are absolutely destroying these Kislev bastards. I'm going to get my Chosen ready for a flanking attack. So the numbers are coming, they're spreading out all over the place. Still a few missiles left. Okay. Starting to wrap some of their units now. That could spell the beginning of the end. Oh, Sigvald has beat the crap out of their general, Anton Yazain. Oh, he's going down. Oh, I think he shattered him. Their general is completely gone. That means the rest of them probably won't last too long. The reinforcing army, of course, has its own general, so they might be able to stick around a bit longer. Maybe they'll support the main army as well and keep them in the fight just a little bit longer than they normally would have. I'm going to send my chosen in. So despite what I just said, that about keeping your best units out of the fight unless they really need to, that's, it's kind of good in the way that you save your units, but it's also bad in the way that they don't gain any experience because they just stood around. So sometimes sending him in to take out weaker units, they won't really lose much health and they'll get a bunch of kills, so it's kind of a win-win. We are all over them now, though. We've got them surrounded from many angles. I'm going to start to wave some of my boys a little bit. Won't be enough, though. Just a big, messy front line, this battle. Still a lot of skirmishes around. Chosen, see, barely lost any health, 30 kills. Looking good. These spearmen are going. We just sent marauders in to start getting some surroundage on these foes. It's all looking good. Sigvol's first test has seemingly been a success. There's still more units coming in the distance, but they're going to be so late to the battle that it's really not going to make too much difference. They are merely lambs to the slaughter. I do love Chaos Spawn. They've been growing on me lately, Chaos Spawn. Very useful unit. It's lightly armored troops. They'll just smash through them, and obviously they're unbreakable, so they just keep going and keep going and keep going. Very relentless. I like it. Needless to say, this battle has become a little bit messy. There is a kind of a front line there, but it's very holy. Lots of places the enemy could sneak through, but also places I could sneak through on the enemy. Lots of missiles back there. Oh, I've got my warhounds still around. And my marauders just stood around. Whoa! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I just accidentally told my entire army to attack those skirmishers. That is bad news. Uh, don't know how to stop. Fight just whoever's in front of you. Stop trying to fight the missiles, otherwise you're all going to take tons of damage. Ah, oh, this is going to be a disaster. I'm going to take so much more damage than I need to. God damn it. I don't even know what happened there. I just managed to somehow select all my units with my big old clown hands. They're not even that big. They're still clown hands. Damn it. Let's make sure everyone's targeting someone nearby them. So the horsemen are getting into them. And we're wavering them all over the place. This should be the end now. They're going to start to fall and crumble. Not literally, they're not vampires, or undead. Not even sure where the general is for this second army. I think he had a normal flag rather than like a general flag, because obviously he was the reinforcement. Oh, my chaos spawn doing. Oh, they've been thoroughly destroyed a bit. I think they've been fighting spearmen. They do have 175 kills though, which is pretty tasty for one single unit. 
It's just a mop-up phase now, really. Cool. So, with this defeat of Kislev, we should now be able to push into their lands a bit, start taking out some of their stuff, start reducing their income, which is going to make them struggle to maintain any armies that they have. And we can slowly but surely wear them down and destroy them. Because that's what the Chaos do best. Just destroy everything. Told my Chaos Spawn to withdraw. Don't want them to die. They are a Silver Chevron unit as well. And I won't be able to recruit any if they do die. Look at all these skirmishes. Go on, Warhounds. There's not many Warhounds, but there's enough to chew through skirmishes. Tasty, tasty skirmishes. There we go. Everything's pretty much running away. Victory will surely follow any second now. Come on, Victory. Stop eluding me. Oh, there's some spearmen still hanging in there. Go on, Sigvald, scare them off with your gorgeous face. I haven't taken too much in the way of losses. Most of my best units are pretty much fine. I've lost a few Chaos Marauders, but that's a bit to be expected because, you know, they're Chaos Marauders. Warhounds, lost one of those. My horsemen have gone. They might come back, though. They might just be routed from the battle. I hopefully still have them in the army, although those units are kind of expendable to me. Man, there is a lot of corpses though. So many dead. That's what I like to see. Let's check out some kills. I'm curious. Oh, just everything got so many kills. Even the Chaos Marauders got a lot of kills. Howbirds, Warhounds, Chaos Spawn. Ah, oh, just everything. Chosen. Everything. So many kills. Beautiful. Lots of experience for my boys, that is. Very good. Very good. Oh. Maybe you want a gift? Uh, sure. You could probably use it. I'm okay giving them money, I want them to try and push out a bit and prosper and become a big deadly faction rather than just that one little town that they seem to like setting in. Oh, sneaky Osterland army. I think they're going to try and kill off my backup plan. You shall not. They shouldn't be able to get me, I should just be able to keep running out of range and they're going to take a ton of attrition. Right, let's get rid of this army. Let's kill them off. And then we can try and get rid of that one as well, hopefully. I'm sure we'll have the range on this turn. We can get this one at least. We're going to do a runner. No, you're not. I'm going to slaughter you. And then I'm going to take Volksgrad. And I'm going to raise it into the dirt. Bye-bye. Nice bit of loot from them. Two grand. That's pretty much what we gave to Bess and then... I think I'm actually going to fall back now instead of going after the other army. Because we need to do a bit of replenishment before I lose any more of my boys. Ready. So Kislev have fallen back to Prague. I went past Volksgrad, raised that. I'm now moving over to the west a bit. There's a lot of bears sling around. I wish still that they were at war. They're still not at war with Kislev. They're just standing in their lands being annoying to them. How Kislev haven't declared war on them, I will never know. But I'm going to start raising these smaller Kislev places. No money in that, so we'll just raise it up. I think that's a place that's been raised already and rebuilt without any buildings properly. We'll have to wait here for now. We can go a little bit more west on the next turn. Bring my sorcerer over a bit. Oh, don't attack them. So yeah, Prague is going to be a little bit tougher to take because it's a walled city, of course. Just as Fort Ostermark. Let's see if the scaling is still improving with them. We want to try and get a non-aggression pact as soon as possible. we we'll start to build we our relationship with them. Get them on the side. They have been beating the crap out of Aisling. We've only got one place left, so looks like they're going to go bye-byes. But that's okay. They've got two massive armies against their one massive army. I think that is a decisive defeat waiting to happen. We'll see if anything goes down on this turn. Kislev. Ooh, hero coming in. Probably going to try and assassinate my hero. Oh, what? Bearsenling have been destroyed? What happened to them? They were there just now. Bearsenling! They're two massive armies. They've just disappeared. Well, that's a bit strange. Who killed them? I think it was Kislev. Oh, well. I'm going to take Kislev things anyway. The bastards. Oh, 11 grand. Oh. Oh, I don't know what to do. 11 grand is a lot, isn't it? Let's take 11 grand. That's probably a far superior choice. We can raise it on the next turn, as everyone suggests. Awesome. We continue to weaken Kislev. So a few turns have passed, and I have upgraded myself 
to a level 5 horde. So we've reached the top of our game in terms of our main upgrading tree, which is going to make us that little bit more formidable. And it is about time to push on more Kislev lands. Erengrad is my next target. Well, the Aisling got wiped out by the scaling, so now the only northern tribe left is the scaling. So we've got to try and get them on side to help us deal with everyone. For now, though, we're going to despoil Erengrad. Well, this is a siege. We're going to have to build some towers. Actually, it'll probably be quicker just to build a ram, I think. Because all we want to do is be able to start the battle. We don't really need the towers. I'm going to auto-resolve it, so we'll just let it play out that way. Okay, off. I'm going to send my old spy off to have a look around. Not that he's called a spy in this game, but, you know, that's the old previous Total War habits coming back to me there. Looks like Talabeckland had taken it to Ostland. Didn't know all these boys were at war. That's going to help me out a little bit, because it'll take the focus off me. Let's see what happens, if anything. Should be able to besiege this on the next turn. Oh, oh, there was an army then. It's just a hero. Will he do anything? Hopefully not. He assassinated my units. Wonderful, thanks. Bring them to see if we can take this down. There we go. Let's just sort of resolve this. Ooh, we took a fair amount of casualties. Hopefully, I haven't lost my great weapon, Chaos Marauders. They are silver chevroned. Ooh, a nice amount of sacking loot from this. It's going to have to be the money. Can't be turning down that amount of money. Moving. We'll raise it on the next one. But yeah, we've yes. thoroughly beaten down Kislev now. They don't have too many places left. We're trying to assassinate their guy. Why not? Ah, failure. You're a failure. Dominance. Never mind. We shall push on. I'm not sure where we're going to head next. So I've made my way round to advance on Prague. I've bypassed Fort Ostermark because Prague has a smaller garrison. And as it takes so long to replenish, I don't want to lose too many fighting a bigger garrison. So we'll go for Prague. We'll come back for Ostermark if we must. It'll probably start taking attrition eventually. Going to need to build some equipment. I'm going to go for towers this time because I'm going to think that maybe I'll take less casualties if I use towers rather than just the ram like I did last time. I'm not sure whether it will actually factor into auto resolve, but we'll try it out. As for what Kislev have left, they've got their capital city of Kislev itself, Zavastra. So they've not got too many places left. We've beaten them down, they've got four, maybe five places left. And then that should be the end of Kislev. A few dwarves over there, maybe start pushing them at some point. But for now, we're going to besiege Prague and advance. There goes my hero. There goes my hero. He's a chaos wizard. Good song. That's actually, I'm doing that for the quest battle. Um, I've got to send a wizard over into a region over there. So I've got the quest battle for the Auric Armor, which gives him regeneration, which gives Sigvold regeneration. And I definitely want that, so sending my hero over there. Go, 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 go. Bring I'm nearly ready to attack Prague. A little bit worried about Kislev armies coming out of the woodwork and coming after me, because like I said, I did see pretty much a full stack at Fort Ostermark just now, but it's not there anymore, so God knows where it's gone. My tribe is Can't get anything with the scaling offer. still. Don't like this enough yet. We shall keep trying as our relationship improves with them. Let's advance the turn and see if any Kislev armies appear. That's probably my biggest concern. Apparently not. Awesome. Prague is ours for the taking. Wipe them out. Unleash chaos. It should be an easy victory. They don't really have anything. Halberdier is probably the biggest threat to us. Hopefully we'll take less losses than we did against Erengrad. Uh, I feel like we did. Looks like we might have done. Yeah, nice bit of loot as well. Uh, gonna raise this. Let's get rid of it, get some growth. Beat down Kislev. And get him gone. Awesome. So now we've got most of the northeastern part of the map destroyed. The scaling will probably start to take some of it, which is fine. And then we can just push Kislev back and we'll keep pushing everyone back until we've destroyed everyone around this area. I'm not sure how far we're going to go. I'm not sure how far we're going to get. We obviously need to get rid of the Empire and Bretonia, so we're going to have to go all the way west at some point. Or maybe they'll come to us. Who knows? I've got me enough growth for a new building. I think I want to try and get the Dragon Ogre thing so I can get Kolek and begin my proper second horde. I need a bit more growth though, so we'll try and do that hopefully on the next turn. We should get that. 
I've also realised I made a mistake. I was meant to send an exalted hero over here to the Chaos Wastes, not a sorcerer, so I've had to switch them around. I got gifted my exalted hero. I didn't recruit him. But the gods seemingly rewarded me. But I'm definitely going to need someone like an exalted hero, or I'm not sure who can do assassinations for the Chaos. I'm going to guess the exalted hero. Dwarves have confederated. Oh, dwarves are getting bigger. There we go. Quest successful. I have completed that one. Got the right guy in the right zone. Oh, and here we go. The actual quest battle itself. Let's have a look at it. Gives us the Aura Karma. Gives us regeneration. That is what I want more than anything. It will make Sigvold extremely tough. Although I'm not quite sure his army is really ready for it yet. We'll probably need to recruit some stronger units. See all these Chaos Marauders probably have to go. I'm not sure how tough it is. Let's have a look. I mean, they're always pretty tough, especially on very hard. Ooh. Tons of Chosen, tons of Cavalry, great weapons, a giant. That is pretty tough. And reinforcements expected, so it's very much in their favour at the moment. Definitely not ready for that. We'll have to work up to that. For now, I want to focus on Kislev anyway. We're very close to ridding the old world of their existence. And now, I can build me my Dragon Ogre Gathering and recruit me some Kolek. Absolutely I found the big old Kislev not. army. It's at Zavastra at the moment. It's got a lot of skirmishes. Which is probably not too big of a threat to me. I've got Warhounds and Horse Riders. Not sure there's anything I want to do to it. Don't want to assault the garrison. I want to assassinate somebody. Maybe. I'm not sure I want to take it on yet. I've just been replenishing and moving around the lands a bit. We'll leave it for now. There is a couple of other options to go for. There's Telebeckland around here. I'm not sure I want to start on them just yet. Although I am at war with them apparently. So they could come at me at any point. So I'm going to try and keep my distance from that area a little bit. Also the vampires must be knocking around here. I'm going to guess they're down south a bit from Talabekland. Maybe over here somewhere. Because that's obviously where they usually start. I guess Kislev is always a good shout. But it does have a pretty mean garrison. So it's going to be a hell of a fight if we take down Kislev. But if we take down their capital, that's a big thing. That could be the end for them. So with that in mind, let's go for Kislev, I think. We'll start to move up on them. You can see an orc tribe above us there. I've got a non-aggression pack with them. They came out of nowhere. It could be pretty handy for helping keep all these human factions in check and beating them down a little bit. Going to recruit some more units, though, for this fight because I think we're going to need them. Oh, and get my dragon ogres. Forgot about them. They should serve us nicely. They are an anti-large unit, of course, but they're great for smashing through infantry still. I can't recruit Kolek yet because I need more growth, so I'm trying to do that. And doing this, taking Kislev, is going to help with the growth because we'll get a fair amount from it, hopefully. Because I'm probably going to raise it, although it could be worth a lot of money. We'll have to see. Uh, maybe some more Halberds. And Chosen, why not? I think that should be enough to take down the garrison of Kislev. I'm just going to try and buff it out with cheaper units, but we'll leave it. I think we'll be alright. I don't have a lot of income left. I'm nearly in negative, which is apparently fine for Horde campaigns. Let me get my hero in there. He could be really useful. He needs a bit of a replenish, though. My Sorcerer as well. Festus. We will begin our besiegement, if that's even a word, on Kislev on the next turn. Oh, yes. You can actually see in the north that someone is besieging for Ostermark. I'm going to guess it's the scaling. So that's, of course, helping us out. Oh, it just got raised, you can see in the distance there. Good, good, good. That's going to save us a job, having to go back up there and do it. Still got to wait for my Dragon Ogres, and then we can besiege them. The Kislev army, though, that is nearby, could come at me and ruin this whole thing. They could come and support them when I'm besieging them. I'm obviously going to want to build some towers, really. I don't think not building towers is a good idea. I'm going to stay by them. Keep an eye on them. Osterland in a bit of trouble here as well. I'm not sure why they're all at war with everyone. I guess they fight each other just like any other bunch of tribes, but... Hmm. Okay. Not really a lot else to do. I could deploy my hero. It wouldn't make too much difference. Might as well do it, though. He's got nothing else to do. Here we go, then. So on this next turn, we can begin the Siege of Kislev, provided that Kislev's army doesn't come and attack us. Or attack us while we're besieging it, either. We shall see. They haven't moved yet, but we shall definitely keep an eye on them. Because you never know what the AI is going to do. It's quite unpredictable. But you know damn well what I'm going to do right now. I am going to besiege Kislev, provided that my army is all finished and made. I assume it is. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Kislev. You are mine. Wow, it's so hilariously not in my favour. Really? 
They haven't got that much infantry. They've got some great swords who will be pretty dangerous, but other than that, I don't really see the threat. I shall not be deterred. Attack. We shall conquer. I'll ignore that. True 